Hello antique friends and welcome to my channel for another antique related video. This is Deanna from Vintage Touch Antiques. I have a number of things pulled out here and ready to show you that I'll be delivering to my Vintage Touch Antique booth in Antique Crossroads, Hagerstown, Maryland. And they should be in there by Wednesday, March the 30th. I have a um, couple of garments hanging there and these pieces, so I'm going to start on this side. Here in the back is a nice divided primitive uh, knife box is, or utensil carrier. Uh, this piece has got your um, dry look that a lot of primitive lovers really uh, want. And this one is priced at $35. Here in the foreground I have a number of these little clay marbles. These are the early marbles. They are out, uh, some of them are out of round, not perfectly round, which makes them really unique. Different colors there, earth tone colors, with the little gingham bag, and this set of marbles is going in for $13. Here is a great little pair of uh, high top white button baby shoes. These are in blue leather. Um, very unusual to find them in that color. Um, very good condition. There's the little soles. They're going into the shop for $32. Here is a, a combination copper and brass watering can. Nice, uh, it's got a nice little, it's got a nice patina to it. Some um, oxidation of the metal but nothing bad and a vintage piece and it does say on the bottom which I'm sure you're not going to be able to see because of the glare it does say Germany so it is a German made piece and this one will be going in to my shop for ten dollars here's a couple of characters back here I just love them they're adorable show and hut pieces wood characters um, character dolls. This one is the Show and Hut Cowboy. He's a very unusual piece, not easily found. And he will be going, he's um, seven inches tall with his little cap on and he's uh, going in for $95 and the little wood Show and Hut Clown in his suit is going in for $65. Now this piece I did show in one of my haul videos. It's the hand-painted horses on a wood, kind of like a barrel top or something. Um, we did hang, put a, a metal uh, wire there so that it could be hung if you want to, or you can take it off if you prefer not to have that. And that's going into the shop for $16. And right here is a very early Victorian uh, quilt applique pattern in the shape of a fan. It's old silk pieces with the turkey track top stitching. And there's what the back looks like. Again, very old Victorian era and it's nine dollars. Then I have hanging here a couple of petticoats. This one is a very long petticoat with the ruffled bottom there. Um, this piece is going in for $22. It's got the wide cummerbund type of waist. Uh, the one next to it is more like a youth size. Again, a long piece with the ruffled uh, edge on the skirt going in for $18. And then behind that is just a plain white uh, smock that just slips over the head. So those are the pieces that will be delivered. In addition to those things that I just showed you, I'm also going to be setting up a front display that I'm calling my spring cleaning display using early pieces that might have been pulled out to house clean in the spring. One piece that is not spring cleaning related but is also going in is this wonderful 
uh, folk art woodpecker and he does he does move if you can see that and and he um, I don't have the price on him yet but I'm thinking around thirty dollars this uh, spring cleaning display is going to have many more things in it than just this because I've got a number of things already in my booth that I'm going to pull and add to this display. But in addition to those pieces, which would include like a more whisk brooms and brushes and cleaners, um, a rug beater, a towel, <clears throat> uh, I'm also going to add these pieces. Now this piece here is a large granite ware basin, white with with uh, black trim, has one ding there that's characteristic of granite ware, and this one is going in for $15. This is um, just a, um, a soap powder. It's oakite. I've had several of these. I've sold a number of them. This is one more that I have left. $12. You can't do spring cleaning without a good old galvanized bucket and that one is a 10 quart galvanized bucket in great condition as you can see. It doesn't have any kind of um, <clears throat> holes in the bottom or anything and that's going in for $10. Here is another whisk broom that I will add to the one that's already up there. This one will be $7. Here's a great piece. This is called a crumb catcher. And the way it works is that you would take it to the edge of a surface, a table or something, and then with a little brush you would sweep off the crumbs off of the tabletop surface into this. And it's called a crumb catcher and that piece is going in for ten dollars it's got nice little toeware painting there on it's all metal and then yes believe it or not people do collect early mouse traps and this is an early one from the eighteen hundreds in fact it has a patent date on it of eighteen seventy seven and i'm hoping that you're going to be able to see it's made like a hotel it's got an early label there on it. It's all wood. And it is a... It's from the Lovell Manufacturing Company in Erie, Pennsylvania. Here is the top lips, lifts off and has a little latch. And you can see... I'm hoping that it's not too dark for you to see down in there. So that piece I've had for a while, it's not in great condition, but it's in good enough condition. Like I said, it has a lot of that old primitive charm and it is going in for $32. So before I close, I'd just like to invite you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do appreciate all of my subscribers. And remember, comments and questions are always welcome, and I look forward to getting them and uh, and enjoy them. And we'll be, you know, would we'll get right back with you if you have anything that you want to say. Be sure and uh, look on my webpage. The link is in the description for places for other items that uh, I have for sale, and the some of these things will appear there as well. So have a wonderful day. Enjoy your antiques, and remember. When you own an antique, you own a piece of history. Bye-bye.